Hey everyone, it's Joshua from Hamby Aeronautics. Today's video is on the review of the Pro Flight Trainer Puma X2. We have the uh, dual throttles and the brake pedal modification. Now, uh, I want to thank Chris for sending them to me from Pro Flight Trainer, giving me the ultimate best here to do this review on. So, let's take a look into it. When you first open the box, as you saw in the assembly video, you can see the, uh, the different uh, machine they did and, and their logos and everything to make everything look good. The biggest thing you'll see or notice is the collective. The collective stick has, well, and you can get the single throttle if you want, but this one has the dual throttle, but the grip is what's changed. So you look, it's two metal uh, grips here instead of the old foam like the, the Robinsons or, uh, you know, alike. And up here, you'll notice there are two hat switches, but we still have two toggles and two buttons like the original, but now we have one more uh, one more switch down there. It would be next to your, uh, you can put your thumb on it if you wanted to. Can't see it in this view, but in the one before. Uh, so the cyclic is about the same. Uh, it's got the hat switch and then the trigger and then the, the three other buttons as well. And uh, it's about the same. The, the pedals have changed the composition a little bit. It uh, looks like they maybe changed the material uh, and the look, and they have it set up to where you can put the old Hamby modification on it if you'd like to. And uh, that'll, I'll, uh, I haven't added any to it yet, but uh, I'm going to put them on here just to show you how they can be installed in a later video. So, first impressions of this thing. I've put it together. It all feels good. I've adjusted the frictions the way I like it, and uh, all the buttons feel great. I haven't really assigned anything yet, but we're just going to dive into a, a quick flight in the Huey and DCS. And, uh, and test it out. But as far as physically, uh, I like the every change they've made to it. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Pro Flight Trainer beforehand, so the modifications they've made have just been pluses. So let's take a look at the flight. This is the DCS World Huey testing out the Pro Flight Trainer Puma X with the, uh, the brake pedals and the dual throttle. Now the Huey doesn't have dual throttle, so I'm just gonna be using the one, but uh, hey, it gets the point across. So we're gonna test this out for the first time. All right, so we are in Nevada. All right. There's some uh, Blackhawks over there. Just a open uh, open cockpit, just me and old uh, Larry here, whoever that is. All right, so what we're going to do is look at some of the controls here. All right, whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, whoops. All right, so there's the pedals, cyclic and the collective. So. I am, uh, I'm just testing some of this stuff here. It's really easy to assign. If you, if you need some help assigning um, axes or anything like that, let me know and I'll, I'll post a separate video on that. But right now we're just running a test. So here is the Huey. All right, so here's the cyclic. Right now I have everything neutral and then I'm gonna go with the cyclic. Far left, far right, forward, aft, and then a nice little circle. This really uh, nice and responsive all right and that's centered there's a little centering device too that comes with this thing i don't think i mentioned it but anyway uh we'll center the uh center of the cyclic here and here's the pedals full extension left full extension right all right looking good back to neutral and here's our collective i'm just going to barely pull it because i don't go flying through the air actually we're not going to because my rotor rpm is low so actually right now i'm going to roll the throttle up have it assigned there. Once it's running, there's a detent that locks the throttle. I usually just, if I'm doing a cold start, I'll just uh, uh, use the mouse to click it out of the detent and then uh, do a normal start. But right now, here, I'll just ease it up just a little bit so you can see the RPM there, and then I'll zoom that just a tad. So the RPM is uh, here. Uh, the uh, engine and the rotor RPM are here, so we wanna, we're going to roll those up into the green, but... I'm just going to ease up on the throttle, so we'll see rolling up nice and slow. All right, our pins are coming up. All right, there is full throttle. All right, I'll wait on that to come up. And I haven't assigned anything of the other keys or anything, so that's uh, that's something that's that's gonna you know you can you can mess with in the future there's so many more buttons on this collective and the and the hat switches and everything is great so 
I'm gonna check this out here. Okay, looks like we're in the bottom of the green. I'm just gonna pull this a little bit. For some reason, it wants it to pull there uh, a little uninflected. Now we're in the green on the rotor and the engine RPM. So we're gonna go boop, back to five. I'm gonna zoom out, not that far. All right, right about there looks fine. And uh, we're just going to zip around in this thing. All right. Nevada. Now I got the graphics cranked up high because I'm not using VR. So hopefully, uh, hopefully everything works out. Looks like we're getting about 100 frames per second. All right. I'm looking at just a tad here. All right. There is that. I'm going to go. There we go. Get light on skids. Little left pedal. Little left cyclic. And back here. Let's zoom out just a tad more. There we go. All right. And here we go. See if I remember how to fly a helicopter still. All right, whoop, and up we go. All right. Little pedal turn here. All right. Get lined up here. Tip her forward and go. Translational lift. And up we go. Uh, she handles great. The, the feel of it is it's similar to the, the first rendition, obviously. Or uh, not the first rendition, but the last one. Because uh, that's the first one I had. Uh, the Pro Flight Trainer Puma. But it's, um, it's really... The feel's great. I think it's the throttles, really, for me that, that do it. The, the Robinson do have foam grips like the, the other one, but... There's just something about the, the metal that are really nice. Plus, I like all these buttons, switches, all kinds of stuff. So, this is good. Buzzing around a bit. We'll pull her down over here and do a little low pass. Whoop. Maybe too low. Scenery looks good here. I, I always play in VR, so I don't really get to see the textures as clear as, uh, as I am looking at them right now. But very nice. And of course the, the Cyclic is almost a replica of the, the Huey and the, uh, the Cobras. High RPM, I'm just gonna pump onto that. Ooh, don't wanna settle. Woo! All right. Now to land the thing. It's been a long time, so I broke my hand. Haven't been able to fly in uh, at my job or in the sim. So we are back at it now. All right, and ease it down just a tad. A little left turn. All right, and roll the throttle back down. Bloop. All right. All right, everyone, this is the Pro Flight Trainer Puma X2 dual throttles brake pedal modification. Uh, my review right off the bat, I'm just gonna say after a review, uh, number one, I think this thing is a 10 out of 10. It's great quality, works very well. Great uh, great button assignment and key assignment you'll see when you get into X-Planes 12 and, uh, and DCS World. So great folks, great product. Highly recommend. Go and grab one for yourself. This is Joshua Hamby Aeronautics, and we'll see you later.